welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video if you saw my previous video i kind of ended it with the fact that i popped over to dunelm bought a load of things and thought i would compile it within a separate haul video so that is what today's video is i do love a bit of dunelm i feel like it's one of those stores that don't change their stock too often however this time around i went in and found loads of new bits so really really happy with my purchases i did also get some in-store footage for some of the other things that i spotted but maybe didn't pick up so before i jump into the haul section of the video i'm gonna throw it back to when i was in store and show you some of the things that i spotted so this is the dunelm at the trafford center it's a really good store they've got some outdoor furniture on sale they've got loads of garden stuff especially as you walk in this olive tree was beautiful and some fairy lights, some pots, lots of wicker and rattan bits as well for the garden. Loved this bird feed storage container. I thought that was super cute. And this seed box as well. Then they've got this church gate range, which has some amazing bits for gardening as well. I am currently on the hunt for a sofa. So I had a quick pit stop through the sofa section. Adorable cushions. Very tempted to get that Labrador one, but I do have a golden retriever. So I feel like I'd be cheating on my golden if I were to go for Labrador. Anyway, some gorgeous um, vases, wicker bits. I actually have this tray on my bed, styled up with a candle and like a journal. Then they've got loads of bits in the like kind of natural history museum collaboration that they've done. Loved that mango wood cloche. They had some candles as well. I loved their new electric diffuser and their oils. I've not actually loved their oils in the past. I tend to get the white company ones. They are my favorite. Then this Dunelm do have a little bit of clothing as well. So I did have a quick pit stop in the clothing section. Some gorgeous bathroom bits, last chance to buy section, which I didn't actually find any bargains. I was hoping to though. Again, this church gate range is giving Neptune vibes. I loved this wanting that kind of neptune style but a fraction of the price then definitely check out dan elm i was really really impressed with that also had a quick look in the kitchen section gorgeous footed bowl like this glass ribbed bowl and this carafe set and even some kitchen aid bits as well which are new so where to begin they packed everything up in these massive sacks i've got two of these so you should have seen me like walk into the car with these massive sacks. Thank goodness I managed to park close enough. Um, but yeah, I'm going to start with, let's start with these. They have some gorgeous faux uh, flowers, foliage, and these leaves, these olive leaves. I loved them. So you can see they're kind of like two-tone, which I feel like makes them quite realistic. And the stems are kind of like not too greeny either. So anyway, my intention with these at four pounds each, I've got three of them. And they're wired as well, so you can really manipulate them to make a really full branch. But my intention with these, I have a vase. Currently, it's got some faux eucalyptus in. And although I like it, it just, I feel like it, I feel like I prefer these. So I might find another home for those eucalyptus um, leaves. But yeah, I thought I would switch out and pop these ones in. So yeah, four pounds per stem is not a bad price. Let's go in with these. I think these are beautiful. They're from the Churchgate range. When I saw these chopping boards, I decided to pick both of them up. There's two different sizes, obviously, as you can tell. Um, the kind of like long baguette style one and then the flatter, shorter one, which I feel like stacked up together on a side looks really nice, just even on display. So this first one is £10 and the longer, thinner one is 12 And it's got on the bottom there, which I quite like, the added detail of the kind of embossed church gate what does it say established 1984 really nice kind of washed like whitewashed wooden i got us a brand new set of oven gloves they didn't have a price on let me see how much these were i think from memory they're about four to six pounds something like that double oven glove five pounds what did i say four to six I'm pretty sure they used to be four, so I thought they might have gone up. But yeah, five pounds these ones are. And they're just like cream piping on a black double oven glove, which I feel like is just a good staple. We, ha we have had this in the past, um, but you know what oven gloves and tea towels and stuff get like, they get a bit trashed. We've got a brand new kitchen, so thought I would treat ourselves with a brand new double oven glove. And five pounds, plain and simple, black and cream, love that. Next up, let's show you this because... 
it's quite new to me that Dunelm do clothing, like homeware, loungewear. So yeah, it's not often that I go into Dunelm and think clothing, but I did pick up this set. This um, pair of bottoms were £16 down to eight, and they're like a ribbed charcoal grey, um, kind of like jogger style bottom with, uh, the only thing is they only had a size eight, and I'm like usually a 10 to 12, but they looked quite stretchy and forgiving so we'll see how they fit and then the tops this is probably why they're in the sale like a mismatch of sizes and stuff but the top i got in a size 18 they had bigger but 18 was the smallest they had and i thought well um for the top half the hoodie part it might be quite nice to have it more oversized and then fitted leggings on the bottom so anyway that one was full price 18 pounds but let me grab my receipt ribbed jogger eight pounds ribbed hoodie nine pounds so they're both half price essentially lovely little homeware set there i also stocked up on some silicon bakeware because again brand new fresh kitchen i wanted fresh new kind of baking trays or silicon ones in this instance i quite like the silicon because you can pop them in the dishwasher nice and easy um this one the bun pan for like muffins and cupcakes only came in uh, like six and i don't think i would ever make just six so especially for cupcakes so i decided to pick up two of these they're kind of pricey 10 pounds each i would have preferred it had they have done one large one but anyway got the cupcake ones and then the loaf pan which i use quite a lot of for like banana bread this one was cheaper at six pounds and just a standard size loaf tin and then i also got one square cake pan i do have two round silicon ones already so i thought i would get a square one for like as the image shows for brownies i saw this little uh wooden honey dipper it's called and i just thought it was so cute let me take off the actual label so you can see it it's got the branding t and g kind of again embossed on the bottom there but it's just plain and simple light wooden honey scoop that i thought when you've got guests over especially if you've got like a breakfast spread on you've got a couple of jams out with little spoons and then you've got like a pot for honey it's nice to have the lid off and have this inside to like drizzle over all the honey delicious especially on like granola toast i feel like honey on toast is the most underrated thing ever i barely have it and when i do i'm like so delicious but do you have butter as well as honey let me know that's the big question anyway i think from memory that was one pound fifty but let me just check yeah one pound fifty and another stock up for our new kitchen this time on these plastic I, pr I probably will prefer to use i do have a ceramic mixing bowl but sometimes we need two and i always think having a plastic one just as a really easy one to again throw in a dishwasher afterwards because these are dishwasher safe microwave safe freezer safe dishwasher top rack dishwasher safe only but anyway it's got like the measurements on the side and that one is one pound fifty for the mixing bowl and then for the measuring jug they are just 75p right, last item in this first sack is these tea towels you may have seen from the vlog footage i showed quite a lot of the natural history museum range of products that they do some gorgeous bits anyway i saw these two tea towels and i thought for seasonal tea towels they're actually really really pretty for spring spring and summer i guess but um firstly the milk parsley one and it's even got like obviously images of milk parsley but also this kind of like Fonts got milk pasta written on there as well, and then this one is called Ladies Bed Straw, so that's the flower for that one. Pop of color there, a little bit of lemon, and again, I just think for spring summer to have out some seat well, autumn winter. I love a seasonal tea towel basically. I've got a couple of my favorites from the white company, which are going to be ones that we you know display only. I suppose these are maybe verging on too good to just actually use as tea towels, but. I'm not too precious. I mean, these are only £4.50 each. So a nice little bargain find there and gorgeous to like add a pop of spring into the home without it being like, whoa, that's Easter decor, you know? I know I got the other two shopping boards, which I do absolutely love. When I saw this one, I had to pop it in my basket, 
as a white company dupe you guys know i love to do my white company dupe videos i do them at least seasonally have done for years and i feel like this is just a staple white company find their heart chopping board is so gorgeous not just for valentine's or seasonal but all year round and this one again is from that tng and it's got that embossing on the front there bristol tng established oh no since 1975 I feel like it's more of um, a nice little display. You know, if you're doing a bit of a display, a bit of cheese board, just for the crackers on here or the fruit or something, or just for like the big baked camembert. It's not massive, but a nice little touch nonetheless. And the fact that it's identical to the White Company one at a fraction of the price. Did I tell you how much it was? Okay, yeah, the rustic heart oak board on the White Company is 40 pounds. Done out one. £10. Now speaking of wooden home decor, this beauty I had to pick up and it had to come home with me at £30 says each piece is unique and it is. It's very much one of those things that you can kind of like pick and choose. So I would prefer to go in store, like different kind of like knots and cuts throughout it. So I love that kind of rusticness to it. Uh, the fact that each is different and the kind of imperfections i just love that so yeah a real rustic kind of wooden vase this one nice size actually um in fact you'd have to bend them but to have some nice olive leaves or even keep them quite long and again oh and again quite spread out i feel like it'd be nice to mix these in with some other leaves and maybe have that like as a bit yeah i probably would need to bend them a little bit more but have that as a nice display piece in the middle of in fact do you know what i'm seeing this now i'm gonna be peeping through these leaves i'm seeing this now and thinking do i go back for some more olive leaves maybe i do 30 pounds that one and it's beautiful i am adding quite a lot of wooden textures within our like new kitchen living space or i'm going to be because I feel like because we've kept the walls white, the kitchen cabinets are white, the pantry's white. I know the island's green, um, but I just feel like there's a lot of white. So I feel like to add wooden textures, like our bar stools that are gonna be arriving, I say soon. When are they arriving? June, I think. They're beautiful. They're from a brand called Ochre. I'll show you them when they get here. Um, but yeah, that kind of like wooden texture, I'm adding a lot of. So that vase will look lovely in there. Now I was, in my last vlog whether or not to pick up some white company rustic linen napkins i'm still undecided but for the meantime i did find these from the edited life range in dunelm i did have some old ones from sainsbury's that i got absolute bargain price i ended up giving them to charity because i feel like the edging had like a detail on it that i didn't love i just wanted plain and simple like these uh, but yeah, 18 pounds these ones are. And I feel like we'll need a lot of these because we're going to be building a kind of outdoor kitchen space as well. I feel like napkins, tableware, table runners, all of that kind of stuff. We're hoping to have this house to be able to host a lot more and have family and friends over a lot more. And I'm just, the thought of having people over just fills me with excitement for tablescapes. I've never had a dining table that I can do like a tablescape on. So I'm so excited for all of that. These kind of things, I'll probably be getting a few different variations of so that I've got options, but you can't go wrong with a good old plain linen uh, napkin set. So anyway, 18 pounds for a set of four. So I picked up two so that I've got eight. I feel like 18 pounds is kind of pricey for Dunelm, but when you compare it to the White Company ones, they are, I think they're more than half price. Oh, this was a little sale find that I picked up. I love using these, especially for like uh, taking all your makeup off. So yeah, two pounds was eight pounds in the sale. So I got one of those. I had this last year. Going through all of our storage things that we put away in storage, there was one box in particular. There wasn't loads in it, but we'd put, clearly we'd put some like pans in or something which had a lot of, condensation on and it basically made a lot of the things in that box moldy which just crushed me but some of the things we managed to salvage and some things like this the plastic it just got in it and it was stank and i was just like yeah. so that went in the bin and i decided to, i liked it that much that i picked up the um exact same again at two pound fifty i 
got the matching, there's like the salad, um, salad servers and like a fork and spoon that go with it. I already have those and they were fine. It's just this that was ruined. So I decided to pick up another one of them because I think they're just such a staple, like classic ribbed, they're plastic, good for outside, good for barbecues, good for like just putting a big salad in. The last and final item that I picked up is this decorative plate tray. They actually had a table styled up, which again, you'll have seen in the vlog footage, whereby this was styled in the middle of the table. I think they had on it, a jug maybe with some flowers in as like a vase and they also had a salt and pepper pinch pot set or something like that whereby I saw them and I thought yeah I could do that on our island so this is going to go on our island I've got a white company salt and pepper pinch pot that are going to that's going to go on this and then again whether or not I have a candle on here or a vase or something but something to sit with it. I feel like when you pop a few things on a tray makes it look far less cluttered or like it it looks like it's meant to be there rather than the items just kind of randomly placed on the island so anyway 15 pounds this one was it's the same texture and finish as they've got a whole like crockery set if you want to get the full like plates server plates like this um the bowls and just get a full set the, the mugs and it's just like a nice stone color very simple but perfect as a island tray so a speedy little haul today but i hope you guys have enjoyed it and i hope you enjoyed seeing what was new in dunelm as well let me know if you want more of these dunelm hauls because i rarely do them but yeah i feel like it, again like i said earlier it's because they don't update their stock that often but each time i've been going in there lately i've been finding some new bits so yeah let me know what you think of dunelm down in the comments do subscribe if you're not already. It would mean the world. And yeah, exciting times ahead with the renovations slowly but surely coming to an end, ready for styling, which I feel like all of us here on this channel, it's what we're really excited for. So yeah, stay tuned for some very exciting videos coming very soon. Uh, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye guys.